Hey guys, um, so you catch me here in Germany, I'm working on learning some coding stuff, so I figured I'd just start doing this here, um, got a dope new phone with an 8 megapixel front camera, and, uh, a lot of people who want to know what's going on in Germany, so I figured the best way I could do that is by just putting it all in a vlog for you guys, that I may or may not cut and edit, but we'll, I'll figure that out later, um, so, I guess I'll start from the beginning here. I got here in Germany two days ago. It is an official uh, eight-hour time difference for everybody in Utah, nine hours in California. Um, I'm staying with a woman whose name is Carolyn. She's really cool. She speaks really good English. She has two cats. I'm in a small three-story house that I'll probably post a video of me touring here um, on my channel a bit. Um... And so, uh, let me think what else. Today, I don't have a car. <laughs> I don't have almost any way to get around. I get around on bike. I have to bike, I think it's 12 kilometers to work every day, which is roughly seven miles. But it's not horrible, really. It's all mostly flat, and it's beautiful. And Germany has a ton of bikers, funny enough. Uh, I went to work, and I was almost always being followed by at least 10 people or in a group of 10. It was really weird, honestly, to <laughs> have such a bike friendly area but it was interesting um my phone doesn't work i can only really text people and it doesn't seem to accept numbers from germany so i only talk with wi-fi uh, i haven't had my laptop till today either because i forgot to buy an adapter so for all of you who are traveling make sure to buy adapters before you come out here um let me think what else uh the past two days i've basically spent uh running around the city trying to get stuff yesterday uh, well, the day I got here, I just basically bought groceries. Yesterday, I went to go and buy an adapter and stuff, actually, but I ended up breaking the chain on my bike, which was a real pain. I walked around the city for two hours, and I was all depressed and sucked, but, uh, <laughs> I got the chain fixed and a whole bunch of things about the bike fixed, so hopefully that won't happen again. Um, today was actually the first interesting day, because I actually got to go meet the company I'm working with. And the thing is, is I thought I'd be working with a bank called N26, and I thought there'd be, like, a big corporate office and all that stuff. Turns out I'm not. Um, it's actually a little confusing how I can explain this. I work for a company called Plug It In Play, Plug In Play, which is basically what it is, is there's a bigger company that's a tabloid here in Germany. It's a pretty big one. And it, um, they're into startup companies, and what they'll do is they'll grant they'll like have an application process I guess and then they'll pick up a startup company and then they'll let them work there for a cycle which I think is like two or three months maybe and from there the people develop whatever their services doing whatever and then they uh if they do well they graduate up and the floor the building has floors so they'll move up to the second floor and if they do well then they get a permanent office in the third or fourth floor above so it's pretty cool um so I'm going to be working with a few different startups, actually. One of them right now that I'm working on is called Venolia, I think it is right now. But it's going to be changed later to um, Weddy Place, I think it's going to be called. Basically, it's going to be dope, guys. Especially for everybody getting married in Provo. Um, it's a wedding app that when you register, they give you... Um, Depending on which package you buy, the lowest package is 15, the highest is 90, but uh, there's a middle one about 70. Well, they give you an app, a wedding uh, website, an official website for your wedding, um, like a chat channel, you can post your details, give your name, registry, you can actually like do your registry on there. You can Everybody who takes pictures can post to this website your pictures, and later you can keep it all for your wedding. It's really cool, and I'm going to actually probably be pushing for it quite a bit when it gets done, because I helped build it, first of all, and second of all, because it's a brilliant app, and this brother and sister who are running it are really cool. Their names are, uh, I forgot, let me look them up. There's Andreas, and, no, Andreas is the helper. It's Daniel and Paulina, both really cool, and um, they actually invited me to go do some cool stuff next weekend, because they're not from Berlin natively, they're actually... They're born in Germany, but they lived all over the world at this point, including in the States, so English is perfect. Um, and they're just really cool. They've invited me to go uh, rent some electric scooters for them or something next weekend, 
which is really cool. And we're just going to go around the scene and see the sights. I've already seen a lot, actually, because I work right next to, in downtown Berlin, there, I'm just right next to all these historical sites. And today, while I was biking around, I accidentally ran into like 10 of them and I took pictures and stuff. But I'll be back later, probably, to learn more and maybe blow a little money there. I don't know. Um, what else then? Uh, <laughs> I, for today, I rode to bike in about, I rode to work in about 45 minutes, and then I didn't understand how the building works, so I couldn't find anybody, but riding back took like two hours, because, uh, so my phone has no data, no service, right? And so I have like, what I'll do is I'll go somewhere that has Wi-Fi, and then I'll ping on the app where I want to go, and I'll outline a route. Well, um, my phone, for some reason, the GPS service still works, even though I don't have Wi-Fi or data, usually. And so it'll just kind of track where I'm going throughout the city, and I'll use that to give myself turn-by-turn -turn directions. And so uh, I went a little deeper into the city, went to a cool couple famous places, which, by the way, on my way to these places, I realized that, like, half of downtown Berlin's under construction. I think it's because they're building a new subway system. They're just rebuilding everything. Apparently nothing is good in downtown Germany. They're just going to fix it all and... They're doing it all while I'm here, and Google Maps doesn't know anything about it, and it just helps foreigners get lost, and it's great. Um, uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, I ended up going around downtown for a while and just looking at a whole bunch of cool old buildings. I didn't take a picture of half of them because it's hard to, it's hard to do that. Um, but hopefully when I go scootering, scooting, as uh, Paulina put it, with them, uh, I can take some more pictures with them and maybe we'll have some fun there. They're kind of my first friends, so they're really cool. Um, I'm also planning on getting in touch with the missionaries and, and going out with them to work on my German and to help them do stuff because I probably won't have much to do Saturdays. Uh, I've found the local ward. Don't know what time it meets yet, and I still need to try and get a hold of the elders, but um, that's cool. Um... I'm pretty badly jet lagged this morning. I woke up at 5 a.m. and couldn't sleep. Got home after my bike excursion and died. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's kind of been an interesting, rough first few days, but it's it's fun. Um, I hope you guys can comment to me, ask questions, Facebook. My phone works. You can text me. Don't call me. You'll cost yourself hundreds of dollars and probably me as well. So don't call me. Um. Yeah, if there's anything you guys want to know about, comment, get a hold of me, and cool. I'm going to be posting this series on my uh, my YouTube channel every couple days. I'm just going to call it Germ in Germany. Shout out to B for calling me Germ and making it sound funny because it's like German in Germany, but it's three words. Anyway, you'll see. Really fun. Uh, yeah, so let me know about you guys because I miss everybody and I feel really lonely sometimes because I'm like I'm so stupid I gave up my group of friends to come up to a foreign country but other times like this is really cool so we'll see what happens um so until next video which I don't know how often I'm going to be posting these actually I'm just going to post them as interesting things happen I guess um but until then I hope to talk to you guys soon